So would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Sarah Neville-Smith and I'm currently studying graduate medicine at Imperial College and I started at the BASC in 2012 majoring in health and environment. Mm -hmm. And then what did you do after the BASC? So continuous studenting. Right. Um, so I've just finished my second year of graduate medicine. Yeah. Um, it's six years normally, condensed to five, so I've got three more to go. And um, so, did the Basque lead you into graduate medicine quite well, would you say? I, I would say so. Um, I'd always considered uh, medicine as a very potential pathway for me, but um, I think I convinced myself following the internship in year two, which I did at a genetics lab, because medicine always really interested me, so did research. Um, but in the process of that internship, um, I was very much convinced that regardless of my end destination, that medicine was definitely the right pathway to go down. So, And so what sort of subjects did you choose on the Basque? Um, so for my major, which was uh, health and environment, I did um, a lot of genetics from year one mm -hmm. um, and a lot of biochemistry. Um, I did molecular biology, um, all of that kind of stuff for my major, and then I did Spanish, um, obviously all the core modules, mm -hmm. and then for my minor I varied a little bit, so I did some moral philosophy and I did a science and film module. Um, so. right. And um, did you find those of any use at all? I, I did actually. Yeah. So. Um, it was quite varied. All of my major stuff led really nicely into graduate medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and I was able to pick enough modules to go into a graduate medicine um, course that required a sort of very scientific background. So paving the way for the next lot of uh, baskets that want to do that. So I managed to get the checklist out. So it worked quite well. So if when you first arrived in Basque, um, we'd said to you right now you'd be training to be a medic, would that have surprised you or how would you have reacted at, at that time? Um, it's a lot of years of university, so in one way I might have been a little bit surprised. Um, in another way, not that much because I knew that it was definitely something that I wanted to do. But I think the thing that the year one version of myself would be the most surprised at would be the sort of sheer variety of things that I'm doing now. So I'm, I'm doing the graduate medicine course. Um, I work as a paralegal in the summer holidays. I'm doing a research, eight week research project in a neuroscience lab, taught how, myself how to code and illustrate. And um, I'm in the process of launching a company. So. That kind of stuff, I think, would have surprised me a lot because mm -hmm. until that point, I very much put myself into a box of I am a scientist and I didn't really have that much confidence in things that weren't in my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And um, is it so surprising in a way that you've got time to do all this other stuff? Do you find this that medicine, you, do you find it quite straightforward that so far that you're um, studying? One of the things that actually made me laugh a bit in my first week of medicine is that they did this induction lecture where they told us that it, some of us, we might find it really difficult to deal with because we'd be going uh, from a module in, say, genetics to a uh, biochemistry one and that that change could be a bit of an upheaval and you'd have to switch your brain. And that made me laugh a little bit just because... The nine to five that you're doing here, going from your major to your minor and actually doing your um, languages and your core modules as well, that's a jump to me. Yeah. So medicine has been quite straightforward because they're different mm. topics and subjects, but yeah. that's that's still, for me, a part of what I can do, not the whole now. So, mm. so knowing what you know now about, you know, in terms of your studies and what you're doing, is there anything you would have told your younger self, you know, uh, say not to worry or, you know, is there, is there anything that you didn't know the, when you first came to the BASC that you you think 
that you know now, you know, that you, mm. that um, you could have told yourself that might have helped you at the time? I think if I could speak to that early version of myself, I would probably tell myself to just continue to try new things um, and to pick modules that challenged you from day one because I think a lot of people have a fairly set idea of what modules they may want to do mm-hmm. in their major pathway um, and for budding graduate medicine people that's definitely the case but um, as far as the mine is concerned I'd say just challenge yourself to do new things um, add as many feathers to your hat as possible because I think if you do that consistently then in the future it's not so much about whether you've done something before or not, it's Mm -hmm. more a question of having the faith in yourself that when presented with a new challenge you'll be able to deal with it and I think I got that and that kind of self-belief I think is pretty priceless. Fantastic, yes lovely, well thank you very much You're most welcome